Welcome back to PSC's Tech Bytes. Today we are going to cover the episode number three of a series of episodes about using PMPJS with SharePoint Framework. And specifically, I will explain you how you can manage list items, so how you can add, update, or delete list items using PMPJS. Moreover, just as a reminder, remember that you can use the Yeoman generator built by PMP for SharePoint Framework in order to speed up the creation process of your SharePoint Framework solution. So let's move to the new environment and let's play with PMPJS in SharePoint Framework. So here is the web part that we introduced in the previous episode. And now I slightly updated it to have uh, the functionality to add a new item, to update an item or to delete an item. And as you can see, if I add a new item, I can see that I have my new item added. I can update the just uh, uh, newly added item or I can delete it from the list. How can we do that using PMPJS? Let me switch to the source code of my solution. And in the React component, uh, I simply included three primary buttons uh, using the Office UI Fabric button. And I bound the on-click event to the add item, update item, and delete item methods, which are really simple and straightforward just for the sake of explaining you how to play with this functionality. So the add item uh, click uh, event is just uh, using the sp.web.list. It uses the get by title to get a reference to the list and the collection of items. And then with the add method, we can easily add a new item provided with this anonymous type, the collection of fields that we want to configure. Remember that you have to use the internal field name here. You can also play with content types if you like and have a fully typed approach when you add a new item. You will get back an item add result object, which you can use to inspect the result of the add. And then, of course, I refresh the content. When you update an item, you can get an refer a reference to that item and you can simply invoke the update method, still providing uh, this uh, uh, anonymous type uh, with the internal name of all of the fields that you want to update. And when you want to delete an item, you simply invoke the delete method targeting the item. Of course, now I'm using the explicit ID of the item for the sake of simplicity, but you can make a query to get a specific item or you can get a reference to the item that you are editing or updating uh, through the state uh, of your React component. So really easy and straightforward uh, to play with items uh, in uh, uh, JavaScript and TypeScript within your SharePoint Framework solutions, leveraging the PMPJS uh, library. As usual, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful and I'm really looking forward to seeing you next week. Thank you.